Greetings and welcome ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. We're here for another Shadow Era video, but this is going to be a Shadow Era series. What we're doing here is we're creating a brand new account, but we're going to do it completely free to play. I'm going to do a full playthrough of how to play Shadow Era as a free to play account. So I'm going to hop right into the game right here. I'm right at the uh, hero selection screen as you can see here. So I have to actually go through and decide what it is that I want to play. So I have Boris, I have Amber, Victor, Gwen, Nish, Elad, Jericho, Zana. I think you can pick. So you start off with human heroes and I think you get a free shadow deck. So I'm actually going to start with Lance. So I'm going to click next. Okay, I am happy with my selection. So let's say I'm a new player, I'm coming in. I loaded this up. Uh, I get a free card. Let's see. Ooh, there's the uh, Logan deck. So that's my shadow deck if I decide I want to play some shadow. Let's say I'm, I'm coming in here, okay? And I... Uh, I don't know why it started here. Because that's where I should be. All right. So let's say I just started, you know, I see that I have 500 gold. No crystals, none of this. But I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't know if I feel like playing this game. I see I have a deck. It looks okay. I guess. So let's suppose I I decide, okay, so we'll play that. And oh, I see I have mail. So I see, welcome. We'll teach you the basics of the game. Another great way to learn is to watch other people play, which you can do for multiplayer. Okay. Just click or tap on a game to watch it from the start. Yes, if you have any questions or feedback, we're best reached at support at shadowrower.com. I would also recommend using uh, forums or chat. Let's see. Oh, they've added three booster packs to my collection, which we saw the Shadow Starter deck. And it's in... So it's in the booster packs and pre-constructed deck section of the merchant. Okay. So let's go check out go home here. What I don't see is here. So let me open up the menu and go to my options. So my sound's off. That's cool. I want global chat. Awesome. Now we go to our merchant. We'll go to booster packs. You see we have three. Okay. Okay. So that's a dagger. I could use that in Lance. Ooh, another hero. Okay. Ooh, a second hero. The cool thing about um, getting these extra heroes is that when you run through camp the campaign stuff the first time is when you get uh, experience in gold. Or well, I think you only get gold once, but every time you gain a um, hero level from gaining XP for doing matches, you get Shadow Crystals, 25. Um, and the first time you run through the uh, a campaign, campaign mission, you get gold, which you can use gold to get cards. So that's what we'll be relying on a lot. So let's open another one. Okay. Another weapon. Another hero. Very cool. So we actually have quite a few heroes. There's a sword. Not nice ally. Okay. Could be a good ally to stealth in, to haste in. Let's check this out. Okay, that's for warrior. Okay, another hero. These aren't bad cards that we're getting. Ooh, another hero. Cool. 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 Okay. And we should also have a pre-constructed deck. This one. See, we can see the list here. Very cool. Cool. Okay. Sweet. They actually, you actually start off with a lot in this game. All right. 
and start off with our starter mission. We'll just do it with Lance. Now, if you guys decide you want to read the text, that's fine, but I don't, I've read these things uh, plenty of times. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. I don't need this. Sword Thief is, is attacking. You're not going to need that for, for these beginner missions here. Alright, let's get rid of that one. And just attack into the bandit. Yeah, there isn't much to say. You can see what's going on. The band's going to be shuffled in. Uh, do we need the retreat? Not really. Uh, we'll just put down another one of these. Hit, killed the bandit. Easy enough. There's only a couple more turns left of this. This is uh, easy after all. Oh yeah, after this match I'll show you to change your player name the first time. Um, it's a little different in-game than it is on the support, because in-game you can't do spaces. Whereas if you do the uh, automatic tool uh, on the support page, you can. Mm, probably won't need that. No, I'm right. We'll sacrifice a nightshade and just drop our raven. We'll kill the arsonist. Simple enough. Have a nice cup of coffee while you do this. Yeah. No, we shouldn't need to drop anything else. Just kill the rest. So it's just survive a certain amount of turns, which is six turns. You can see turn six. We get some nice XP. We get some more gold. You can see a deal that comes up, which is pretty good when you're starting off, but uh, only five bucks and getting 12 packs. That's uh, absurd. You get 15 cards a pack. Um, you get nice pretty card sleeves too. Um, okay, name change. Should we click here and see player? So the first time you do name change, it's free. Uh, what do we want to call it? We we'll can call it um, uh, Ricardo. This play name has been taken. Okay, how about um, Mr. Plow? That, uh, available. Oh, cool. We can be Mr. Plow. Mr. Plow, that's my name. <laughs> All right. So we should now be Mr. Plow. Perfect. All right, so now let's say uh, we decide, you know what? This game looks fun enough. Um, so as you know, when you're playing any, any game as a free-to-play, you really want to plan out how you're going to play it so you can maximize your resources. Um, I suggest using things like chat. Okay, using forums, um, using Telegram, Discord, uh, whatever you can. 
to uh, look up a hero that you like. So in this case, I'm saying I like Lance. I'm going to plan to build Lance. I found a deck that I like for Lance. So I'm going to start planning to build around him. So let's see what I can get to start making it like it. So one thing I know I want, really want for Lance is um, Ankle Breaker, which is the weapon for rogues. But if I remember right, Ankle Breaker is not too cheap. So what I can do is, see I got something like that. The foils actually sell for a lot. So we can go check the merchant here. We're gonna buy sell cards. I'm gonna filter and show unusable, which because I'm Lance, normally it only show what I can use for Lance, so I want it to show everybody. Just gonna do that. First, we're gonna sell extras. I don't have any extras. Okay. Now the number on the top is how many you own of a regular of the regular kind. Uh, it's just a standard card like this. And on the bottom, if you have any foils, that will be the second number. So let's see what we can maybe sell. We do have a foil elementalis. We could perhaps sell, that's 200. So we're gonna sell one of these foils to get 400 gold, because we have one. Because I know I'm not gonna need it for my main Lance deck. Um, but I may need it for um, for building like other decks to play against uh, on campaign to earn some more gold. So we'll keep one for now. We have a dark flyer there. We don't have any brutalis. Okay. Okay. What can we? What can we do? You know, we can probably sell these. You shouldn't really need to use these for much of anything. They're just really not... This might be in my actual deck, so it's not letting me sell it. Let me see how much... Are these both in my deck? I can sell one of them, so we'll sell one of them. Okay. So I can show you too what we're what we're trying to get. We can probably sell this. Shouldn't need it for any dicks. And just in case we want, let's see how many you have. You have three here. Probably sell one of these. Okay. All right. This is the one that we want four of, which means we need sixteen hundred gold. We have 1250 right now, so we need to free up another 350 gold. All right, so this will give us 200. And I know I'm not gonna really want this for anything. So I can get 200 for this. Let's see, so we need another, what, 150? Let's see, what else do we got? We can So, so now we just need 50 more. Uh, how about this guy? Perfect. Okay, so now let's go get our ankle breaker. This is the this actual staple weapon for leveling any rogue. Okay, so we got four of those now. Let's go see how our deck looks. Okay. Okay. So let's start getting ready. Like we, we can drop, maybe drop this. We can drop this. Let me see if I have maybe another retreat. Maybe I can get four retreats in here. I do. Perfect. So we have three ill-gotten gains. So we can drop. Yes, that, that assassin's cloak. 
Recon, assassinate. Uh, we can get rid of extra sharp. We'll get rid of our throwing knife. How many allies do we have in here? Let's count. Two, four, six, seven, eight, eleven. Eleven, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Looks like we have more. Let's count. Two, four, six, seven, eight, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now that's twenty. Okay, so we want to drop two others. Um, we want that one. We want that one. I think we'll drop the the Lalos. And we'll put in these. Okay, I'm not a big fan of these guys being in here. I'm not a big fan of Blake either. Let's see what other two cost allies we've got. Uh, we do have Dirk. I mean, it's, it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, I think that means we have four, right? Hmm. Right. We'd rather drop these and put in Dirks, okay? Because uh, the protector isn't, you know, at least we got some protector. At least it does something. Okay, so we got these now. Perfect. Now we continue with our uh, campaign mode. And this one doesn't give me the option to skip. That's fine. Um, I'd rather keep the nightshade, so we'll get rid of you. We'll put down my projector. Uh, that's going to be some draw, so let's hold on to that. Breaker. We'll do that uh, just to pull another card. We have just a bunch of allies. Isn't that pretty? Hmm. Take out the assassinate. We'll get our draw engine going. I mean, so I have assassinate and ankle breaker in case I need to worry about something on the board, which I don't think I will. Because these matches are intended to be beat with these starter decks. Okay. Shouldn't need the Elden. Awesome. Uh, we'll choose the assassinate. Why not? Captain, we'll get rid of this. We'll just hit with the ankle breaker. We will win our next match. Okay. Piece of cake. Nice. 
Yeah. Awesome story mode, thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, there's our mass purification. We know we're not gonna need that one. Yeah, I try not to sell as much as possible. Um, because like I said, when you do it the first time, you're gonna play some, you might try out playing in, um, in ranked and say, okay, I really want more cards. I'm gonna need some more gold. Uh, that means I'm gonna need to pick another hero to run through campaign, uh, which means you might need those allies. So you try to keep allies as much as you can. Um, that's what I recommend. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. So we're gonna keep doing this uh, probably in the next video. We will continue uh, doing the story mode here and getting some additional cards for our deck. So uh, check out the next video for uh, continuing this uh, full playthrough of free to play in Shadow Era. Thanks.